Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome, we will discuss now Greco Latin square, Latin square. This is a special type of design in randomized complete block design. So, let us see that what are the topics we will cover today. First, we will discuss what is Greco Latin square design and then its statistical analysis. Then, I will give an example, some kind of tutorial here and references. Your textbook, where from I have taken the material, is Montgomery's design and analysis of experiments. Then, two, Nuisen Spectre. Factors or we are saying blocking factors each with p levels. That is that is what you have seen in Latin square. And then you made a square p cross p square where rho represent one blocking factor, columns represent another blocking factors, factor with levels and the each of the individual cell will be assigned to individual that the treatments. Okay. Now, suppose you want to block another factor. You have one treatment and three nuisance to be three nuisance factors to be blocked. How can you do it? That will be done through Greco Latin square design and that this resultant design is Greco Latin square design. So, let us read some of the sentences here which will give you more realization about a Greco Latin square. Greco Latin square is used for treatment comparisons involving three blocking factors. Treatments are denoted by Latin letters A, B, C, D, etcetera. Three blocking factors are denoted by row block, rows, columns and Greek letters. So, we will use Greek letters to represent one blocking factor. It is used to control systematically three sources of extraneous variability that is to block in three directions. It allows investigation of four factors, rows, column, Latin and Greek letters, each at p levels in only p square runs. Greco Latin square exists for all p greater than 3 levels except p equal to 6. Only two of the four subscript y, i, j, k, l will be the general observation are necessary to completely identify an observations. Okay. So, <coughs> let us see how do what is there then that means, I have three blocking factors nuisance factor 1 or I can say block blocking factor 1, blocking factor 2, blocking factor 3 and in addition you have another factor which is known as treatments. So, if treatment has p levels you take for first blocking factor p, p levels, this also p levels, this also p levels and then your layout will be here row 1 to p, column 1 to p and each row and column 
here you will first assign suppose treatments A, suppose here treatment B, so like this, okay, like this you will treatment. Now, you will introduce another letter called Greek letters, Greek letters like alpha, beta, gamma, etcetera, which will be suppose if I, I may use here A alpha, this or here B beta, something like this. So, then this alpha, beta, they are also they are basically for the third blocking factors alpha, beta, gamma. So, in in p cross p p square observations, you are able to include the effect of one treatment and three nuisance factors. That is a special class of design and Graco Latin square design. What will be the general observation then? General observation will be y i j k l. This will be divided into into different sources uh, or attributed to different sources of variability like one is the grand mean fine, then this is the row effect, then this is the uh, treatment effect, then this is your column effect and then what will happen that uh, another block. So, I j k l i stands and j k l all basically vary from 1 to p. So, if I say what is i j k l then the reading is like this observation in i th row and j th health column for latin letter j and greek letter k. Your latin letter j, j th latin letter whatever may be there that will basically represent the treatment i th row health column and greek letter k that represent the blocking factors. So, here mu is overall mean, theta is effect of i th row, tau j is the effect of latin letter j treatment, omega k is effect of greek letter k th block and psi l is effect of l th column block and epsilon i j k l, epsilon i j k l this will be random error. So, so what is happening? I am repeating this. So, what is your statistical model then? Or here it is basically effect model, effect model for Latin square. So, here y i j k l, this will be mu plus your theta i tau j plus omega k plus psi l plus epsilon i j k l. Okay. General observation, observation on this i th row k th column j th j th latin letter l th green letter greek letter. This is overall grand mean, this is the row blocking factor treatment column block blocking and then this one is Greek letter blocking and this is the error. Okay. And the design is like this you see here 4 cross 4, four cross 4 design, we in the slide we will show the 4 cross 4 design and you see that row 1 to 4 and column 1 to 4 here A, B, C, D these are the treatments row 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the blocking factor 1, column 1, 2, 3, 4, label for blocking factor 2, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, this is the Greek letters used for blocking factor 3. So, you will be getting this kind of design and please remember you may have to maintain the orthogonality. So, here <coughs> what happened? Same thing what we have done in Latin square, in Greco Latin square also, we will find out the all sources of variability, their sum square, their degrees of freedom, then we will create the F statistics for the treatment and we will compare with the with the, uh, with the threshold one from the table and if the 
if the treatment f value computed from the data is more than the theoretical one, we will say that the treatment effect is there. Otherwise, we will reject the null, uh, accept the null hypothesis that treatment effect is not there. Okay. So, here the calculation part. So, <coughs> one is Latin letter treatment j from 1 to p, other things as it is earlier one, only you have four dots because you are controlling, you are basically estimating in four directions, controlling four directions a, b, c, d, not from the cap for and the treatment point of view, four different factors point of view. Okay. So, row column treatment and Latin letter and Greek letters. So, Greek letter this is k changing rows i columns l. Okay. So, that means, what we are saying row i column l in between j and k, j stand for the Latin letters for the treatment, k for the uh, Greek letters that is the block. And then everywhere the degree of freedom for treatment will be p minus 1, block row Greek letter block p minus 1, row block p minus 1, column block p minus 1, then total will be p square minus 1 because you have total p square observation. And then by subtraction you will get p minus 3 into p minus 1, this is what is the error degree of freedom. And SST will be computed using this. So, with one ex ex tutorial, we will see it very nicely. So, let us see the data. The data is a scientist is interested to test the effect of five formulation for ammunition preparation. Ammunition you know that in case of <coughs> rocket launching that ammunition, this is this is what is used. So, the response variable is covered horizontal distance. So, when you launch a rocket, it will move certain uh, along certain projectile, but it has a horizontal distance that it will cover. So, this the three important extraneous factors are batches of raw materials, operator and conditioning temperature. So, the scientist has <coughs> chosen five batches of raw materials because here are five formulation, five batches of raw materials, five operators, five conditioning temperatures. So, that means treatment is formulations, five formulation blocking factor 1 is raw material 5 batches, second blocking vector operators 5 operators, conditioning temperature is the third blocking factors with 5 levels. Hence, the resultant experimental design is Graco Latin square design, the following experimental data suppose it is obtained. Please note that this data is not collected uh, based on certain experimentation, it is experiment, it is a, it is a hypothetical one all the data set what I am showing most of the data are hypothetical in nature means we conceptualize the problem and then we put some amount of data. But in reality when you do experiment you will actually get the response variable data. Now, here suppose what happened 5 by 5, so this is what is the data actually this is what is uh, here what happened when I subtract by 100 then you are getting like this, but here actually we have given the actual design. <coughs> you see this design versus this design here a alpha, b beta, c gamma. So, this is what is the design. Now, using the uh, that design with 5 uh, with, with 5 cross 5 uh, that matrix a alpha, alpha, beta, gamma, gamma, epsilon, gamma, uh, alpha, gamma, epsilon, beta, delta. So, we have used alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon these are the Greek letters and they are basically coming once in every rows or every column and similarly to the like the treatment also coming once in every treatment coming once in every row and every column. Okay. So, so <coughs> that means this minus 5 or as such 95 this is what is the distance traveled by the rocket horizontal distance and this one 
is result of when you have used formulation A and your raw material batch 1, operator 1 and alpha, alpha is basically conditioning temperature 1. So, similarly here it is the two second raw, batch, raw material first operator and conditioning temperature 2. So, in this manner you are basically doing it. Okay. So, this is what is the data. Now, you have to analyze. In order to calculate the SSTs, what you require first is your total. Some square total will be you square all those values 5 square, 7 square like this. All those values you square 1 to 5 25 values, then take the sum and subtract it by the total square by 20, total square is 83 divided by the number of observation this, then you are getting the total variability 1619.44. Then for batches of raw material which is represented by rows, you take the row total, you take the row total and, and here row total and square it and sum it, take the average of this and then subtract by this 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 one that uh, 83 square by 25 you are getting ss batches 0.592 similarly for the column if you do you will get ss operators <coughs> so <coughs> two more data sets are not directly visible from here the total for example the formulation a b c d as i told you in the latin square you find out a attached with which value in this raw data in this data set. So, wherever A is there, here A minus 5 and then here minus 4 and here minus 7. So, like this all those th things you add. Similarly, you add for B, you will be getting total for A, total for B, total for C like this. And in the same manner you find out for alpha, beta, gamma, del, epsilon, delta, all those things you will be getting total of this. Then, what is the SS formulation? All those squares, they are addition divided by the number of observation 5 and then subtracted by the 83 square by 25, you are getting SS formulation is 473.04. Similarly, SS conditioning temperature is 249.84 <coughs> and SS error is 232.04. 0.8. Okay. So, we computed SST, SST, now you, you prepare the ANOVA table. <coughs> ANOVA table, SS formulation, SS batches, SS operators, SS conditioning temperature, SS errors, SS total and degrees of freedom are given, then find out the MS and then find out F0 for formulation, it is 100. 18.26 by errors 30.26 which is 3.90 and this is this quantity the hypothetical theoretical value is a 4 8 0 0.0 to 3.84. So, okay, the 3.84 is less than 3.90. So, null hypothesis is rejected it means that the formulation has effect on the response variable horizontal variable. And depending and all those cases we have shown how ANOVA will be model will be used and whether the effect is there or not. Please keep in mind that you require to do residual analysis, residual analysis for test of all the assumption related to ANOVA like normality of error terms that homo <coughs> homoscedasticity, then your independence observations all those things you have to you have to test through residual plots like and you have seen residual plots in one way ANOVA case test of assumptions all those things are very very valid very very important things you have to do it. Another one is that if formulations are different or if the treatments are different in general case. So, then what will happen which pairs are different or not? Fischer's LSD, Stuckey's test, all those things we have shown earlier. So, similar kind of things also you required to do here 
in case of randomized complete block design and its different variations. So, I, I hope that you will be able to do this kind of experiment in life book, which is our main book for this particular subject DOE. Hope you will uh, do well uh, in uh, both in assignment and in exam related to randomized complete uh, block design or, or incomplete block design or the special class of block designs. Thank you very much.